What the fuck is he talking about? I'd like to start off by saying Barak Atayahu, Ba'ashem Yahu Shai, Ba'ashem Racha Kodash. Welcome to another live lesson. And pretty much this is what the fuck is he talking about? And this is pretty much this video here with this devil vocab Malone at the bottom here. And um, pretty much the bonehead you see up top with the hat, you know, you know, he's because they had Bishop Nathaniel breaking down Deuteronomy 28, going into the curses and the yoke and the ships, you know, the, the uh, slave ships and all of that. <clears throat> and then this bonehead up here from the um, Renaissance Christianity Brady Bunch, you know, the Renaissance Christianity Hollywood Squares up here. Uh, talking about that the curse in Deuteronomy 28 has nothing to do with genetics. It has something to do with taking an oath and all kind of... I'm like, what the fuck is this guy even talking about? You know, it has everything to do with genetics because this this was, you know, applied to a specific people, the Israelites. This wasn't given to everybody, you know, but this this is what these so-called wacky tacky Christians do. <clears throat> you know, they twist scriptures, they cherry pick, but then they accuse us of cherry picking. Now, when we read Deuteronomy 20, I'm sorry, when we read Deuteronomy 1 and 1, it says, Israel's history after the Exodus. These be the words which Moses spake unto who? All Israel. On this side, Jordan in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea between Paran and Tophet and Laban and Hazaroth and Disahab. Right, so this letter or this uh, book, the Bible in general, is addressed to all of Israel. Okay, these be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So these curses in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, apply to the Israelites. And these were things that they would suffer in their different captivities. And this is why in the 45th verse of Deuteronomy 28, it says, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. So no matter where we would go, these curses would follow us and overtake thee. Why? Because the Lord put these curses upon the Israelites, gave them an ultimatum. He said, if you do the right thing, the blessings will follow you. But if you do the wrong thing, you break my commandments, you piss me off. All of these curses are going to come follow you and overtake you. It says, till thou be destroyed, because we, we've been destructured, uh, because thou hearkenest not, because you didn't listen unto the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. And it had nothing to do with an oath, although the children of Israel did take an oath, going back to Exodus uh, the 24th chapter, I believe it is, if I'm not mistaken on the, on the chapter. You know, but this is something that would be put upon the children of Israel. Then it goes on to say, in case you didn't get that, and they shall be upon thee for what? For a sign and for a wonder. In other words, these curses that you see written in these in these scriptures, they will be wherever you go, they will be upon you for a sign and for a wonder. Because this this will be the evident token, the evident sign that you are the Israelites based off of the curses that would come upon you. And it says what? And upon thy seed forever. That's genetics, my man. That's genetics. That's genetically. That's lineage. That's however you want to slice it. You know? So when we look up this word seed, just in case, you know, you have some non-believers out there. The word for seed is zarai, which could be seed sowing offspring. It could be an actual seed, you know, from a from a flower or a fruit or vegetable tree, or it could be the offspring of something. In this case, the offspring or the descendants, posterity, children. Genetics of the Israelites, semen viral, which is what? It's talking about the, the semen of a man, the sperm of a man. All right. So it said that these things will be upon us and our children and our seed forever until the Lord removes the curses from off of us. So what it what the fuck is this guy talking about that that this is not 
you know, that the curses were not a genetic thing. That it was an oath that you would take. No, it was something that would be upon us. And it was addressed, once again, Deuteronomy 1 and 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto who? All Israel. Then we go to Psalms 147, 19 and 20. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Matter of fact, there was one more that just came to mind. Let me get that one. Psalm 78. Okay. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel, genetically, genetics. He, the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, who gave the laws, who gave the statutes, who gave the commandments, who said that if you keep them, you will be blessed. If you break them, you will be cursed. He have not dealt so with any nation. So there's no other nation out there that received these laws, statutes, and commandments. The Israelites. Judgments, they have not known them. Praise you the Lord. And that's just the bottom line. Psalm 78 and 5. For he, the Most High, established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel which he commended our fathers that they should make them known to their children. That the generation to come, generation, genetics, genes, that the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children. So it's going to be a generational thing. That they might set their hope in the Most High and not forget the works of the Most High, but keep his commandments and might not be as their fathers a stubborn and rebellious generation which with uh which was the reason why they suffered curses under different nations under different empires you know for different periods of time so the curses came upon us in different time periods you know under different nations and not all of the curses were on Israel at one particular time it just it varied it depended on what nation we were under how long we were under the uh, under them for it says a generation that set not their heart aright and whose spirit was not steadfast with the most high all right Daniel chapter 9 verse 7 O Lord righteousness belongeth unto thee but unto us confusion of faces as at this day to the men of Judah Israelites Genetics, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, Israelites, genetics, and unto all Israel, in case you didn't, you know, you didn't pick up on the other ones, that are near and that are far off. Why? Because we were scattered, because that was part of the curse. Through all the countries whither thou hast driven them because of their trespass. What trespass? Breaking of the law. And the curse stated that if you break these laws, you're gonna all these curses are gonna come upon thee. One of them was to be scattered among all different nations. It says that they have trespassed against thee. O Lord, to us, the Israelites, genetics, not Oath, genetics, even though the nation of Israel did take the oath, confusion of face to our kings and to our princes, to our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. What is sin? The transgression of the law. Who was the law given to? The nation of Israel. So genetically, that's dealing with the nation of Israel. So I don't know what the fuck this guy is talking about, this bonehead up here. This Renaissance Christian Hollywood Square Brady Bunch clown over here. All right, going back. It says, To the Lord our power belong mercies and forgivenesses, though we have rebelled against him. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our power. And he said, If you don't obey, if you don't hearken, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. To walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law. Genetically, they broke the laws of, we all broke the laws of the Most High. Even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice, 
Therefore, because genetic Israel, the seed of Israel, the Israelites, the curse is poured upon us. Has nothing to do with no oath. It has everything to do with genetics. We as a nation have gone into captivity under different nations in different time periods. We lost different things depending on what empire we were in. Not every empire besieged the nation of Israel. You know, just different things that happen. It says, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, which we just read, Deuteronomy 28. Is that not part of the law that the Most High gave to Moses? And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Most High, because we have sinned against him. And that's why we fell. And he, the Most High, hath confirmed his words. And what was, what was the, the uh, confirmation? If you break these laws, if you don't hearken, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Genetic Israel. Which he spake against us. And against our judges and judge that, that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. Why? Because he broke those laws, statutes, and commandments. Therefore, the curse was what? Poured upon us. Because it said that the laws, that those curses would be upon us and our children. They will pursue us and overtake us until we be destroyed. From under the whole heaven hath not been. Let's read this whole thing again. And he hath confirmed his words. Which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil for under the whole heaven have not been done as hath been done upon Jerusalem. It says, as it is written in the law of Moses, all this evil has come upon us, yet we made not our prayer before the Lord our power. And it is so to this day. Some Israelites still haven't turned to the Lord. That we might turn from our iniquities and under and, and understand thy truth. Because that's the safe haven. Therefore, have the Lord Yahweh Bashem Haushai watched upon the evil, all of the curses that came upon us, and brought it upon us for the Lord and brought it upon us. The Israelites, genetics, genetic Israel. For the Lord our power is righteous in all his works which he doeth, for we obey not his voice. Okay? It says, And now, O Lord, our power that hath brought thy people forth out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand, and has gotten thee renowned, because that's when the Lord's name was made famous, as at this day we have sinned, we have done wickedly. All right? So that's dealing with genetic Israel. So I don't know what the fuck this bonehead renaissance Brady Bunch Hollywood uh, square clown up here is talking about. That the curses in the Deuteronomy is not talking about it's genetically. It's not talking about genetically. It's talking about those who took the oath. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? You know, but anyway, with that, I put I put that. I put that in the description box in case anybody wants to go. I, I watched about four and a half minutes. I couldn't watch no more of this garbage. You know, you got another bonehead right here and a clown ass hoe. And then you got the devil, the serpent himself down here. You know, so with that, I pray that you brothers and few sisters have been edified to the next time I say Shalom.